What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of The Well-Worn Path. Today we're going to be playing one of my favorite decks out there, which is fairies, um, what you might call the regular fairy, the standard fairy build. Um, it's not, like, too wildly different from anything anyone else has played. I mean, I'm on double Christia. I think that's kind of the ratio I'm comfortable with. You really don't want to have two of this in your hand at any point. Um, I, re I really like the one side row with the Minecon package and Raikou Valley for my other builds, so we're still on it. I like Triple Dim Elk. I think that card's sick. Uh, I'm kind of just keep taking uh, Keegan's word for it that five recruiters is the way to go. And we got that Triple DD Warrior Lady, the Hand Traps, uh, Gore's Trag. Trag is only really in here because you have the level fours and the level eights, um, which I think make it like pretty good. There's a lot of like great things you can steal with it, I guess. Um, but... I don't know, it might be a little bit questionable, and we're kind of just on standard back row, um, with the bottomless and Book of Moon on top of all of the power one-offs, so I've got just some replays to go over, um, so we're gonna look at those. First one up against, I think this one was against Monster Mash. Um, let me think, what happened? Okay, so game one, no wait, this is against Flamvel, my bad. The other one's against Monster Mash. Um, so we know what we have to look forward to. Here we banish the hamster. Um, we go mine con, take his Raikou that we know is there. Obviously, um, very good to have mine con in this situation where you just know it's Raikou. Uh, the opponent is just kind of set passing, so we're going in. He books his Raikou, kills my guy. I'm like, whatever, that's fine. We go set. I think he, okay, he drops Trag. And then we get back to the Warrior Lady. So just doing the standard fairy stuff. Here we can make Christia. So I decide to go Warrior Lady Crash. Or Angel Crash get Warrior Lady. Banish the Hamster. And then I do drop Christia anyway just to get the plus one. Um, so we do get our little plus one. It gets bottomless. But I'm like alright we can just return to win. I get really cocky here and I protect this. And he actually had an MST Storm in hand. So he could have like gotten rid of it. Um... In which case, this would have been an issue, but we have return. I actually mess up my attack order and end up not lethaling him here, which was a big throw. Um, for sure, I should have just banished this guy with Warrior Lady and killed him, but he lives on 100 because I did, like, bad math. And uh, So, we potentially could lose this game. However, we're actually just fine um, because we summon free and attack for game. So, yeah, uh, never punished for my little screw-up there. Game 2... Um, I'm trying to remember. Okay, we open an okay-ish hand. We go Warrior Lady attack again. I feel like he shouldn't have used that Deep Prison. You would rather just kill it with Raiko. But yeah, we go for Alk, hit over the thing. And uh, unfortunately for me, he does have the follow-up rekindling here to bring back the dog. Which is like the worst case scenario for me. So I get back Warrior Lady. I'm just like, whatever, we can out Stardust. Maybe I should have just gone straight forward, actually. But I decided not to. I decided to try playing mind games with set monsters. I feel like it comes back to punish me here because he just hits over and makes another level 8. And I'm still just waiting around to draw like a Christia so I can pitch it for Tragodia. I try to bait the end phase MST, which does work. So here I'm just like, alright, let's get rid of the stupid Stardust Dragon. And I maybe should have set more back row here. I probably would have... I mean, we'd have won the duel if we'd set more back row here. There's no question. Um, but instead, I was, like, trying to be greedy with my trag. Um, we only died because he had Solemn Judgment, to the, though, so it's kind of tough. But, yeah, maybe a little bit of a misplay there. Should have just, like, committed my back row. This game, my hand kind of sucks, I'm going to be honest. I forced the Judgment with the Heavy Storm and just set. Here, I feel like we can't afford to be dealing with Hamster Ryko, so I just, uh, I just orange light it there. And a lot of these games, I gotta be honest, I was just really frustrated with the amount of trap cards that I've been drawing. I'm just like, why can't I just be playing Chaos Fairy and just, like, set Decree and win the game here? And, like, start, you know, summoning monsters. Instead, I'm just drawing all this stupid Book of Moon and Bottomless Trap Hole stuff. And freaking Solemn Judgment, which, not great here. He's got another Battle Trap, but I bring it back, but he's got a Dust Tornado. So, I don't know. Maybe just, uh... Just nostalgia for my good old familiar build, but yeah. Uh, yeah, here we just have to get rid of that Kais, but we can't because he got the Deep Prison. So we lose the duel, and I've, I was just 
could not draw a monster this game. Just draw a bunch of back row. So drew soul period at a really bad time. Had gores in our hand after we drawn all those like useless like one off back row. So I don't know. Maybe I played it wrong. I definitely played game games one and two. I think I played more wrong than game three. Game three actually just had a shit hand. Gonna be real. But here, maybe you should have just orange lighted this after you see it's a merchant, but I decided to be greedy, and I feel like it kind of paid off here because he got a crappy mill and just goes for Drill Warrior. So we can just out the Drill Warrior with the orange light, which we do do. I feel like maybe I'm just really bad at playing this this version of the deck, or playing this deck, period. Um, but we get ladded, which is not great. Um, we don't have a really good way of dealing with it here, so I just opt to chill. We're like one fairy away from having four. Um, we get sort of punished there, but we can hit over with the angel, which is going to pop his field. He gets back the dandy, storms me, stacks for plague, goes cataster. And at this point, I pretty much have to negate that, I think, because it's really gambling if I don't. Uh, we draw, we draw Trigodia, which is, yeah, this was like the worst time to have Trag, honestly. This was the one time out of all my games where I'm like, damn it, why am I playing Trigodia? Uh, but yeah, we, we know the opponent doesn't really have anything, so we can maybe deck them or something. I set this Dust Shoot, and I'm like, alright, we're gonna get this Dust Shoot live, put something back, but there's nothing good there. And I, again, I'm just drawing all these useless spell traps. And, like, I know that he's got Cold Wave in hand, so the minute he draws an actual card to push with, he's just going to Cold Wave me. So there's actually no point in setting any of these. Uh, and then we get Cold Waved anyway, and I have to use Trag to live. Um, and then I draw another friggin' Spell Trap, and I'm just like, why am I playing all these stupid back row cards? They don't do anything. They're, s they're so not good. I don't know. I don't know. Some, I, may, I may be bitching too much about this, but... It's just, like, not my thing. I don't know. I don't like playing just, like, a ton of generic trap cards. They're... Okay, so here we just sack the opponent with Christia. I mean, we Orange Light, we Special Back Christia. They can't do anything. Christia kind of solos this matchup, so I definitely brought in the third one. Here, I set RFDD first to see if I can bait removal. Um, I maybe should have just shotgunned the Mask of Restrict and Draw phase, because, yeah, this was such a good play for the opponent. Fortunately for me... He, like, mills another dandy and clogs his board. So when I flip Max Mask of Restrict uh, this turn... I could have maybe rammed just to get another fairy engraved. So I flip Mask of Restrict and he just can't do anything. And now we go for Christia. I think I maybe should have just hit over the Caius or crashed into the Caius with the, the Trigodia, but I get kind of greedy and I decide I want to keep the Trag and just hit over his stuff. So we go drop tri Christia... We bounce back the Honest, and now we're chilling. And yeah, the opponent can't do anything because of Mask of Restrict. We hit over everything. He hits Heavy Storm off of this, which was like his only out. But I do have the uh, the Herald of Orange. So we're all good. We go Summon Honest, Attack, Attack. And looking at this, it does confirm to me that this guy actually top-decked two Rikos in a row. So that's a little annoying. So he draws one Raikou, but then he has to get rid of Trag, which tells me he doesn't have Gores. So I actually, I made a big misplay here by not end phase, just crowing that Necro Gardener. Because I could have just killed him, since I know he doesn't have Gores from that last play that he telegraphed. But instead I can't, so now I have to withstand this, uh, this push. Opponent goes Lad, which is like no big deal. We use Call, which will get the fourth fairy out of a graveyard, chain Mirror Force out the Lad, and then we can crow whatever he tries to bring back. And then on our turn, uh, we just special out the... Okay, this time I do remember to crow it, so we just special out the Christia, and then we pretty much win. I don't know. Um, I was probably making tons of mistakes, to be honest. I've never played this deck before, so my play was probably really bad. But I don't know. I was just frustrated with a lot of these hands where I'm just drawing, like... I, I guess the Book of Moons are all right, because I get why you play Triple Book of Moon, or, or at least multiple Book of Moon. Because it's like your opponent will draw brain control eventually in the long-ass grind games with, with Fairy, and you need to be prepared for that. But like, the bottomless trap holes and the judgment just, just felt so bad to me. I don't know. Like, I felt like those cards were losing me the game. Trag might have also been losing me the game in these because I just chose to play it with these other cards that don't synergize with it. Um, 
so that's that's potentially another issue but yeah i don't know it's just not my thing maybe it's just not my thing i still think the fairy deck's a lot of fun it's just i'm no good at it i maybe it's kind of like frogs or it's just i'm never gonna be good at it i'm never gonna understand it uh i think it's really cool watching people who are good at it play it um definitely and it's cool that it's it's a deck that's out there i think it's a really a lot of fun to uh to play against and to watch matches um that it's involved with but I guess I'm just not big brain enough for for standard fairies. That's what I'm taking out of this video. Anyway, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, share the video, become a member, all that stuff. I'll see you in the next episode, and peace out, YouTube.